the Lifesteal SMP is filled to the brim with very experienced Minecraft players. But today we're going to look at someone who started off the SMP as practically a nobody, but over time became one of the best PvPers in the entire game. This is the story of Clown Pierce and how he took over the Lifesteal SMP. Chapter 1 The Beginning on October 15th, 2021, Clown Pierce started his channel with one of his first videos being titled Clown Pierce Strikes First. This content showcased him absolutely destroying players on various Minecraft servers, and would show us what to expect from Clown Pierce and the future of his channel. Clown would gain little views for the next few months, posting videos on multiple different servers, mainly relating to his talent in the PvP genre. Some of these servers include PvP Legacy, and a bunch of other small ones that he would eventually take over. But something massive is coming onto the horizon in which he's going to be a part of. Chapter 2 The Beginning of Lifesteal It didn't take long for Clown's talent to be recognized by bigger creators. Once the Lifesteal SMP was announced on various social medias, Clown knew that this was his time to show what he was made of. He eventually got accepted into the SMP and was one of the smallest creators on the server at the beginning. This wouldn't be a problem though, as he would have the opportunity to show everyone his PvP skills. For the first 24 hours of the server, PvP would be off, meaning that no hearts could be stolen from other players. He was one of the first players to get netherite armor and become one of the scariest on the server. Although, the fight wouldn't actually begin until after the end battle. A bunch of players, including Clown, were trying to get the dragon egg since it's one of the most valuable items in the game, as there is only one of them. Since it was within the first 24 hours while they were in the end, bed fighting has been the only way to kill players since PvP is still off. Meaning that you couldn't damage players with swords, bows, etc. Oasis was the first target of Clown Pierce, as he would try to kill all the players and take the egg for himself. But Clown would make sure that that didn't happen. Right, if he places one more bet, we can kill him. Are you oh, fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I hate you. Oh my god. 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 Chapter 3, The Lifesteal Takeover Once PvP was turned on, Clown had overheard Parrot and Vortex talking about their plan to kill Oasis and Vitality for hearts since they were very vulnerable. He found and absolutely slaughtered them, gaining two hearts in the process. Although, due to Clown sabotaging his and Parrot's plan, Vortex began attacking Clown. Wait, what are you doing? What's going in? Go, go, go! I can't see. I literally can't see. Oh, he has golden apples. Eat, eat, eat. Do you not have golden apples? No, I don't. Alright, that's it. We're facing the land. You think you're gonna win this fight? Uh, I don't think I. I could get away. Oh my god, he's not my god. What was that? Honestly, this isn't looking so good. So many gaps. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna be real. No, this, ain't, this ain't looking too good. Why? No, 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 no. I, I don't think there's, I don't <laughs> think of there's any take back season. I think if you commit to a fight, you should commit to it. Oh, no. Wait, you guys are still running? Yeah, but mm. you don't understand. He's gonna hunt you until you die. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's in 48 it. hours or in a week. Good for him. Bye, Clown. BC4, BC4, run. Day by day, Vortex would begin to get better gear. And by the next episode, he once again challenged Clown in an attempt to kill him. Although, there was only one issue. Since he's seen what Clown has been able to do in the past. So, he decided to call upon some help. Okay, they're, they're attacking me already. <laughs> yeah, you, you can if you like run away. Fine. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> Dang, Clown's <laughs> <so it>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like... We brought some XP bottles, so we're wearing that armor you got there, buddy. Clowner's oh, getting a little chicken doodle. <laughs> Clowner smells like a chicken you? doodle. No, back up. You would never back up. Yeah, you would never. He is. Oh, mm, he saw me running. Oh my god. No, run, run. No! Oh my god! Pull up, pull up. Dude, holy. Vortex, do I pull? Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. Um, I pulled. Pulled the wrong one. No, I pulled all of, the, all of them. Dude, I wasn't even paying attention to my hearts. I thought, I thought Cloudbeers was dead for sure. <laughs>
Vortex would eventually escape again and kill multiple members of Clown's team. Some of the members of Clown's team at the moment include Leo Wook and Prince Zam. Clown would also hear that his teammates found Parrot's base, who was their opposition. Also, Parrot's team was officially called the Poggies at this point. And since those were his enemies, he began making his way over to kill them and take their hearts in the process. Don to drop. Don to drop, boys. Don to drop. Dude. <laughs> yes! Oh fuck, my guy can shit. Oh yes! Yo! Waiter! Oh my god! from the server, banned. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's a lot of hearts, oh, boys. Oh my! That's a lot of hearts. Oh. That's a lot of. After killing two of the Poggies and gaining two new hearts, Clown had imprisoned a player of the Poggies named Rekrap. But unfortunately, Rekrap would give little information to Clown as he was very loyal to his team. Clown had also learned that Rekrap only has six remaining hearts and he also has no armor. This means that he would be extremely vulnerable to any attacks. Unfortunately for Clown though, Rekrap would easily escape the prison since he still had his tools somehow. <laughs> you got out. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. No way. <laughs> I'm out, I'm Cloud, out, I'm out. Clown, your trap sucks. I'm, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> well... But Clown still had all of Rekrap's armor from when he captured him. This would result in Clown's advantage as the Poggies would need to get back his stuff. The Poggies offered three hearts for all the loot back, which Clown would agree to. They dropped the loot on opposite ends of Clown's base and they went to retrieve it. Although, unfortunately for Clown, he had been scammed. Firework stars look similar to hearts in this SMP, and that's what they gave to him. And just like that, all of his leverage was gone. Chapter 4, The MLB With Clown's team's base finally being constructed, their new empire called the MLB is finally becoming a reality. Their main goals are to make as much conflict and entertaining content as possible. This is a new era of the SMP, and will take a turn for the better. Or so we may think. In the very next episode, a war was commencing. It was the MLB versus the Poggies. Everything that has built up in the last few videos was all for this. It took place in the new MLB headquarters and everybody was ready for the big battle. As the MLB prepared upstairs, the Poggies got ready below. But there was only one rule to this fight. If one person dies from the other team, the battle is completely over. And then when the MLB dropped down, the battle commenced. Go. Oh boy, let's go for it. I just immediately crawled out. No, no, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, not outside. Out of the fight. One, they're ganging up on you, dude. Getting ganged up on, dude. One person, don't focus them. Try to kill everyone. <laughs> focus more than one person. They're focusing one person. Oh, there it is. The MOB have won the war, killing Mapic and completely stopping conflict on the server, or so they thought. Shortly after the battle, Clown got a message from a new member on the server called McBurkin. He was asking if he could join their team, and Clown was thrilled, as he would be a vital asset to the team. But something happened after this, which would change the server forever. It's 11, there's a thing, what's it called? There's a meeting, right? At spawn. No, 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 no. This, this, oh, no? this is a, this is a peace thing. I heard. Oh, okay, okay. We need to, we need to be on our best behavior. Show that we're, uh, we're to be trusted. Yeah, All right, so, um, who, who's representing that? I'm representing so, MLB. I'm gonna represent a Poggies a Nation. Let's sit in our <laughs> chairs. <laughs> Are we guys, taking wait. off our armor? Guys, I don't guys, can see you anybody move? sitting under? A I, I don't. I'm I don't a see a reason. We're not killing, all right. Take off your armor, guys, guys, please. You take off your armor. All right, gonna Clown. May pick. May pick. Thank Either you. Get out. Oh, free strength pot, bro. This is a screenshot, bro. Is that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. All right. All right. So first off, first order of business are the new rules to the server. And spoke. What are your? What's your proposal for that? So, I think spoke should have twenty. Okay. No, no. no I'm kidding. That's I'm kidding. Not what we said. It's a joke. It's a joke. So, I think. The new rules of the server. We should be nice now. Um, 
please do not hit me. I will kill you later. Um, I everyone the, here? Hold on, wait, hold on. That you're con contradicting yourself in that sentence there. Huh? <laughs> you said we'd What's be nice, well, and then you threatened to kill him. Means. So, uh, um, uh, one rule: uh, no end crystals. Those are like nuclear weapons, what? you know. So I'm looking at you, Clown Pierce. All right. No end crystals. <laughs> Fine. You can you can disagree. It just you talk it out. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, Chris, no I, so. I, I I agree. You All know. Right. All right. Chris. Um. So no more like blowing up bases. That's part of the reason why I know in crystals, so we don't like freaking <laughs> blow up bases. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh. Do, do, do we want to kill villagers? Do, are we chill with that? No. No. no, no villagers bro, what are about fine. axolotl deaths? <laughs> no more killing axolotls. 13... That's, that's... Nah, I don't- okay. No well, more uh, killing axolotls. Yeah, that is our- anyways. that is our counter-offer. Yeah, deal with them, deal with them. Hey, take off your armor, take off your- I want both of you to take off your armor if you want to be here, alright? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't- I don't know, I know. You know, I- Dude, I, if, if I take off my armor right now, everyone's gonna come and kill me. I yeah, mean, that's so take off your armor. Point. No! If that is true, you should still do it. No! No, I'm not- Okay, I'm well then, you have to go over there. Or with subs. Yeah, get stop, out of stop, here. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Sorry about that. I just want to um, watch, okay? Sorry about that, everyone. Um, okay. Uh, next rule. So, yeah, griefing and stuff on bases. Um, it's just something that we don't want to happen. Uh, oh, and final rule. Wow. Final rule. Um, Clown Pierce has to give me one heart. What? Oh, go, go, go. Oh, go. No. Go, go. Oh. Oh my let's god! Go. Oh, yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Dude! Look how- Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Weird. Oh my god! No, let's I go! Oh my stuff! God, oh, bro! Hey, hey. Are you fighting? Clown! <laughs> Don't go <laughs> This made Clown Pierce furious, killing Pofa and gaining one new heart. Doesn't exist anymore. Let's advance with Pofa. You messed up! Pofa! <laughs> you messed up! And at this point, we all knew that the war was far from over. Soon after this, Clown and the rest of MLB were looking to expand their empire. They saw that someone named Mid Mystic X was joining the server and thought it was the perfect opportunity to get a new member. But then, Vortex killed Mid due to her being vulnerable and communicating with Clown. This led to her officially joining MLB along with another member named The Terrain. On the next episode, Clown was going to show off his new personal base where he held many resources to fuel himself and his team. But something unusual came up when trying to locate his base. Clown noticed an unusual farm placed next to a village, and the village seemed to have no villagers. After investigating further, he found out that all those villagers had been moved underground into a secret base owned by one of the Poggy's members, presumably Recrap. This base was massive and could provide insight to the MLB if any other massive war broke out. For the rest of this episode, he showed off his new base and explained the automated zombie villager system which he was doing. This would allow him and the rest of his team to get potions and armor at an extremely fast rate and be prepared for anything. He would also set up shop for his new armor business which would allow him to make diamonds very fast. And his first sale would be to Mapic for 20 diamond blocks. The next episode was the most intense day of the Lifesteal SMP yet, as it would be the biggest battle the server has ever seen. It would be fought at the MLB tower and would decide who was on top, MLB or the Poggies. Unlike last time, the entire opposing team would need to die in order to claim victory. When the battle began, the entire MLB team began to lag like crazy, while the Poggies were absolutely critting them out. And at this point, the battle seemed unwinnable. Clown was getting about one frame per second, and with what they were fighting against, that would make their odds of winning little to none. But how did they do so well, you may ask? Well, Clown soon found out that the Poggies had created a lag machine under their base using cakes, and with the proper settings turned off, you would be getting nearly no frames just like MOB is. So how does Clown pull through something like this? He is losing hearts at an extremely fast rate and can't seem to recover them fast at all. All that he's able to do is stay alive and chug gapples. His first totem popped and one of his teammates during the battle was burning all the cakes under the MOB tower. Therefore, Clown would just need to hold on and stay there alive. And eventually, they were able to destroy all the cakes and finally fight back.
After many close calls, Clown somehow was able to survive the 2v4, showing the Poggies and all of us what he is truly made of. And although they committed the crime of trying to flee the battle zone, he knew that no matter what, they would continue to try to kill him. And in order to end all of this, he would need to give in, and die for the first time on the server. So, he met up with Parrot in the execution zone where they, together, would die and save the server. But, upon pressing the lever, they dropped into a trap. Spoke was at the bottom, ready to kill both of them and steal primarily Clown's heart. This was all according to the Poggy's plan though. Parrot knew this was going to happen from the start, but Clown found a way out and was able to die from fall damage, keeping all of his hearts. But still, the war was far from over. This is it, the final episode of the Lifesteal SMP, and the biggest battle they have had is about to commence. Members have had a month of preparing for this battle, and it is all about to go down. When it began, the Poggies have set up a trap at the top of the MOB headquarters, dropping hundreds of TNT down and spawning tons of withers, destroying everything that MOB had worked so hard for. But they weren't going down without a fight. It's so laggy! My oh, it's it's my, we need to turn wonders. off that machine. We need to turn off. The, I'm assuming they're using a lag machine or something. Should we turn off? Oh, is yeah, there a lag yeah. machine somewhere? No, it's the TNT. There's gotta be. It's it's like, the, dude, the bed survived. The bed survived oh. somehow. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so oh, bad. No, 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 no. Oh, this is oh, deja vu. Deja vu. Oh, the bees are trying to avoid here? trap. They're trying to avoid trap. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. There we go. They're trying okay, to avoid trap. You guys got. No, guys, parrot's coming over here. It's okay. I'm getting parrot away. Where you guys at? I'm getting parrot away. No, 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 no. Let's go! I'm gonna get the- I'm gonna, get, the, I'm I'm gonna get all gonna of them on me first. Planet, where are you? So I think I know it- I think I know what might be happening, but I'm excited. Red Crab's killing me! Red Crab's killing me! I'm chose. I need help, Clown, Clown, I need help. I'm on you. And just like that, it was the end of Clown's first season of the Lifesteal SMP. If you guys want me to do a follow-up whenever season 3 ends, please let me know in the comments. And also, pretty much the entire video was Clown Pierce's content, so I do want to say, hey Clown, if you're watching this, please don't copyright claim this video, I spent a lot of time and um yeah uh, please <laughs> and also if you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe but only if you enjoyed and if you want to see future content but anyways i'll see you guys all in the next one